I like to think of Google Drive as like my digital backpack. And you don't keep all your files in your backpack at the end of the school year, right? You sort them and you place them where they need to go. The same thing needs to happen with your Google Drive. So let's go over some tips about how you can get it organized and all set to go for the following school year. To access your drive, go to drive.google.com. You can also access it through the Google App Launcher. Step 1. Take a look at the state of your drive. Go through and delete any files or folders you no longer need. If you find you have assignments labeled untitled, look at the document and give it an appropriate title. If it is a file you no longer need, delete it. To delete a file, Right-click with your mouse and select Remove. To right-click with a Chromebook, press or tap the touchpad with two fingers. Step 2. Organize your files. You don't store loose sheets of paper in your backpack because they could get misplaced or be hard to find. The same should be true for your Google Drive. Look again at all the files still in your drive and place them into folders. I like to create folders by grade and then subject. To create a folder, go to the left-hand side and click New Folder. Type in a title for your folder. Let's label ours 8th grade. You can also add folders within this folder. For example, ELA, Math, French, Science, Social Studies, Band. I would then want to go through and move any of my loose files into the appropriate folder. To move a file, right-click and select Move To. Then scroll through and find the folder you want to place it in. Continue this process until all your files have been placed into folders. You can customize your folders by right-clicking and selecting Change Color. Trash. This is where you can find assignments that you've removed from your drive. It's helpful to empty your trash often so it doesn't take up unnecessary space. The more organized your drive, the easier it will be to locate your files, notes, and assignments. 